So this is a 1983 BMW R80ST wiring system and the bunch of wires here are all part of what go into the instrument assembly and the front turn signals. Um, this is the headlight connector and the parking light and as you can see somebody spliced all these wires so I think they were trying to save this connector and fix a problem. Now this very round connector goes to the tachometer and inside the tachometer are all the indicator bulbs so there's quite a few wires that go in there and then this is the uh, right side turn signal flasher then right here is the ignition switch wiring and then over here is the left turn signal flasher and the two wires for the illumination and the speedometer now as you move further up the wiring bundle these are the sub leads that go to the front turn signals and then also this is the front brake light connector there's a switch in the brake light handle and this is the clutch switch so if you pull the clutch you can start the engine so fairly straightforward these three connectors are where the handlebar multifunction controls plug into the wiring harnesses to them and uh, they're retained in here with a uh, snap that you can push down on with a screwdriver to free the plug and then kind of push down and slide it back like that and then once more on the bottom and uh, you can get it to pop out so it'll come out just like this one did so that's a pretty easy way to connect the handlebar controls to the electrical system behind the bracket with the plugs that connect to the handlebar multifunction control wire plugs are as a whole set of electrical components the first one here at the front is the ignition control unit and then this is the voltage regulator and then there's two relays here um, this one is the starter relay and this one is the headlight relay and there's also a plug uh, down here with no relay but that's the turn signal relay that's where it plugs in now somebody on this bike added uh, a set of relays here that are not part of the standard bike but they connect to a tab that's it welded to the frame and from the wiring it looks as if they might have been used by a previous owner for auxiliary lighting now the wires that go to these um, the ignition control unit has a plug with a wire bale to secure it and then it comes into a white plastic plug connector and the other side of that goes into the ignition module inside the front engine cover and the voltage regulator has a plug that pulls out of the bottom and then the auxiliary relay wiring somebody just added now the starter and headlight relay wires come into their own plug at the bottom and they come off of little short uh, arms out of the main wiring harness now there's one other special plug here that has a number of different wires headlight wires and power wires and uh, it takes a special connector to a wiring harness which I don't have but I assume it was for powering various auxiliary components on the bike now right here is where the coil mounted but this bike didn't have a coil on it when I got it and then these are the wires that would go to the coil and one other interesting detail is there's a big bundle of brown ground wires and they attach to the back mounting bolt for the bracket of the uh, voltage regulator so this is really the central ground for a lot of the circuits on the bike 
So you want to make sure that that's a nice tight fit and that way you won't end up with any flaky ground. Now up front here are a couple of small plugs. This one has the uh, brake light wiring for the front brake light and then this one has the clutch wire for the clutch switch. And then there's this large white connector with a blue and black wire. The blue wire goes to the alternator rotor and to the dash light for the gen light. It provides power to the rotor so the alternator can work from a dead stop. And the black wire is uh, going to the starter relay and it helps energize the solenoid and the starter motor. So those are all sitting there. And then this is the uh, plus battery cable. And there's a second wire that would have gone to the plus terminal, but it's been uh, stripped. The lug is missing. So they would have gone here. Now there's another small connector here, which goes down to a little sub harness that goes and connects to the neutral switch on the transmission and it connects to the oil pressure switch down here. So that's a little sub harness. There's another fairly good sized plug here and it takes wires to the rear of the bike for powering the tail light, the parking light, and the turn signals. Now there's a little box here that you can undo the uh, front screw if the cover comes off and that's uh, the uh, fuse holder for the bike. So inside are two fuses which is pretty common on uh, BMWs. Now at the rear the tail light assembly has a set of pins on the back so that the uh, brake light and running light and ground wires can plug into the base and similarly on the turn signals when you remove the front cover each turn signal has two terminals one for the power wire and one for the brown ground wire so those go right into the back here there's a plug that connects to a sub harness that goes to the rear brake light switch the wire routes along the rear frame tube and then goes under the gusset on the bottom of the frame over the top of the swing arm. The switch is mounted on a tab that's welded to the bracket that supports the rear swing arm assembly.